here. We're seeing like major updates happening. Okay, it's due in two days. So this is like the <laughs> early planning. So obviously, as you can see, we don't have anything, no chandeliers or anything right now. Yeah. But that is like something we need because as okay. you can see, this grand entrance needs no, 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 for sure. <laughs> The world's too big for the memory day. I think you need bigger doors. Yeah, we'll definitely get you some bigger doors. So much work to be done. So much work to be done. Austin hasn't heard anything that we've said so far, so hopefully. Be fine of it. Get ready, guys. Woo! Woo! Can't wait to. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're coming over. Open up, we're here. Okay, you're yelling like so loud. All right, we are rushing around. We are headed to the Aids family house. They just moved into the house and, and we had stuff we were working on. And then we heard that Austin has already started buying furniture. When we were over there last time, I said, okay, the number one thing you gotta do while we're on our maternity paternity leave is, is to not don't buy stuff. Buy stuff. <laughs> That's what we told Catherine. So I just finished pumping. We have milk in a bottle. We're bringing him with us because we don't have a babysitter yet. Nipple cream. I'm gonna get a swaddle. My sister's meeting us there as well because she's gonna help us with this project because it is such a big project. We need help. Baby is in. He looks pretty wide-eyed. <laughs> All right, in the car, I'm sitting in the back with Moon. Hi, my beauty boy. He's so cute. So you guys saw the footage from when we met with Catherine while I was still pregnant. So that was in the beginning of the summer. And after that meeting, that was the second meeting that we had with her, we went off and while we were on maternity leave, we worked on a bunch of designs because this house is so big. A lot of the items need to be custom because the scale of this house is just so huge. We were trying to try take our break seriously and not do work. Right, we didn't want to like... And we kept seeing videos posted of like, their new place because they're super excited about it, but like every video you'd see like one more piece of furniture show up. You'd be like, wait, what is that? So, we have that issue at hand and also we just want to make it amazing and cool and special because they are an amazing, cool and special family. So, basically we're like not so much back to the drawing board, but then we also need to see like, okay, what do they now already have that Austin bought that like, we can work with, are we still doing all the rooms that we were originally going to do because some of them might now be finished and in a space where they're like okay with them. So this is a whole just like, we don't know what's happening. Right? Oh, did you spin up a little bit? Okay. <laughs> oh gosh, there's still so much construction stuff here. Like just Okay, whoa. Lots of cars. Lots of cars. There's Tessie. Okay, so we went inside and we come to find out that all of the rooms that we were thinking we were gonna maybe help them finish, the entryway, the living room, they've already decorated because Austin couldn't help himself and he went out and bought a ton of stuff. So we are going to regroup. We came over, um, we talked to Catherine about doing some rooms and then Austin designed all the rooms. <laughs> so. We're here to meet with you, give you the confidence that like, we can get it done what you guys want to get done so that you know like, okay, that room's taken care of. I don't need to deal with that room. All right, so Austin has completely decorated the downstairs. So I think we can go ahead and check that off the list of things that like we could help them with. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna help them with the girls' room because the girls' bedroom and the girls' playroom have not been touched really. So I'm gonna talk to you because these are your rooms, right? Do you have any ideas or dreams for what they would look like? Just like, you know what I really like? Clouds. Clouds are cool. Clouds go with butterflies. What do you think, Moon? All right, so Butterfly. in here, do so you think you still want to? I want like a table, like chairs, like crayon, like a big crayon. Okay, so you want the center of this area to be like a table. Yeah. In the playroom, there's nothing except a ton of, well, toys, which is appropriate. But Catherine said that she really wants to go through and get rid of a lot of those toys because there are a lot of just like plastic toys, old toys, and she wants kind of a more clean playroom look. So they're gonna slim down the 
toys. Look at good. Gus is making measurements on like a rough floor plan. Joey measuring. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring the ladder. <laughs> All right, well, Moon got hungry before we left the Ace Family House, so we are currently in the driveway of the Ace Family House, feeding Moon a bottle. Oh my gosh, so complete change of plan. Yeah, I have to say I'm like a little disappointed just because I was really excited to do that entryway because it's just like so big. We had some like fun ideas for like artwork and everything we were gonna do and some sculptural stuff. I mean, I also totally understand why Austin was in such a rush. I'm excited to do the girls' rooms because, like, obviously the girls are so important to them. Obviously, we've been doing this for long enough that we're used to having to be adaptable. This is how it goes, guys. You gotta be flexible. Yep. <laughs> what? He's getting ready to take a nap. His third of the day. Well, that's great because, thankfully, his naps have allowed me to work on the Ace Family stuff. So this is the mood board for the girls' bedroom. I really am obsessed with it. Obviously, we're gonna go for like that clean overall look, like simple lines of the furniture. So in the bedroom, there's just a birdcage, which is a giant birdcage that you can sit in. Austin got it when he was doing his spree of other giant items for the house. But this birdcage is gonna work perfectly with the design that Catherine wants for the girls, which is like, butterfly themed, kind of like fanciful garden vibes almost. And then this is a wallpaper mural that is so gorgeous. It's like oversized florals. So then I also thought we could bring in some actual oversized 3D florals since we have that giant bird cage to play with. And then I want to have some photos of the girls on the wall, which Catherine requested. And then yeah, just like simple, pretty furniture. And that's the the look we're going for. And then this is the mood board for the playroom. So this sky mural, it's actually a wallpaper mural that we'll put on the ceiling, which I think will look really cool. And then this is sort of like the overall vibe I wanna go for. A nice table area for the girls to do craft projects. They're also gonna be homeschooled so they can do their homework on there. Make sure that the shelves are like organized and really cool, like kind of like home edit looking with things in containers. So that is it, and this is Elle and Alea's bright, inspiring, and organized playroom. Hey everyone, if you're not already, you have to follow me on Instagram, at Mr. Kate, because we are getting ready to do a huge giveaway, multiple days, multiple prizes, all interior design items. You don't wanna miss it, so give me a follow. And of course, you'll also see some before and after interior design photos, family photos, and some really cute pics of Moon. Go follow us at Mr. Kate, and we will see you there. Love you, bye. Okay. Okay, can you put down your phone? Well, I have it because Moon is sleeping in the car with my sister and she's gonna call me if he wakes up. Okay? Moon has the easiest gig. I'm putting it here. He comes to work and just sleeps. I know, well, let's get, let's get this done All right. he's sleeping. So, obviously we gotta finish the painting, but I wanna figure out the layout of this side of the room because we're gonna have to move some of this electrical. Yes. So Austin and Catherine want the girls to share a bedroom and also share a bed because they're currently sleeping in their parents' bed, which they have done, Elle's done it for the past three years. They're hoping they will eventually graduate to their big girl bed, but since they're so used to sleeping together, it makes sense to get them both a queen size bed that they can share together. So the plan for the girls' bedroom is to bring in a statement wallpaper. We're going to do this gorgeous large floral all along the back wall, which will anchor the bed. We're gonna go for the traditional setup of the bed in the center with two side tables on the side, matching lamps, etc. Some artwork above, and and then we have this built-in shelf on the left side, which we're going to contend with by just painting it the same color as the wall, sort of integrating it more into the rest of the space. And then we'll bring in some more traditional bedroom items like rug and dresser, etc. So we have a queen. I think I think the yeah. frame is 68 and a half. So here. So like around here, right? Take that, find the center. <laughs> <laughs> Half of 182 is 91. One, one, or no, 90. I hate the math part. 90 and a half. Because I said 91 before. Dude, Keep holding dude. it. Keep holding it. Keep holding it. What? I'll go back to my center. Okay. <laughs> this is what happens. 
<laughs> when you only get four hours of sleep. So then our bed is 65 and a half? 68 and a half. 68 and a half. Because it's like kind of like a platform which size is to Which it. is 34 and a quarter. Put a piece of tape right there. Before we get the paint and the wallpaper up, we are going to tape everything off in the room. I just like to do this at first so we can come up with sort of like a visual plan. Is that Moon? Did Moon just text me? Oh. Oh, he's waking up. Hello, is he waking up? Yeah, he's waking up. Oh, he's waking up. Baby waking up. Okay, Joey, you got okay. this measure and figure out this. So move we're gonna the move, we're gonna move this over here. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure you're doing this? Uniform. Yes, and then wallpaper. Great, bye. Wallpaper. I didn't bring the wallpaper. What? I didn't bring the wallpaper. Joey. Honestly, we're doing like three different interior design projects right now. Um, shooting nonstop, raising moon, like, you know, he does not sleep in, let me tell you that. And so, yes, I forgot the wallpaper. I made it here, didn't I? Oh my gosh, I can't with you. I have to go okay, we're here child. for a couple of days. Okay. Did you just have a good nap? Yeah, he was watching him sleep and then he woke up and he drank the milk. Tess is so amazing. She's amazing with Moon and she's also an amazing decorator. So like just having her around is so helpful. You wanna get in here? Okay, well, so we'll get everything out of the box. Okay, but I also wanna ask you about this project real quick because I wanna get started on this. So. The rainbow doorway. Yeah, so can you do me a favor? Can you just start bringing more boxes up? <laughs> Oh my gosh, putting Auntie Taz to work. We love you, thank you. Okay, so the plan in the playroom, we are using the ceiling for like the main feature piece, which is going to be this amazing cloud wallpaper I'm so excited about. And then we're taking the door off the closet, which is going to just open up that whole other area of space. But we're gonna make it really fun by creating this rainbow portal to the closet. So I'm gonna put trim on the outside. Right, we'll, we'll paint it the same color and on the inside we'll put trim, but we'll tuck it in and we'll try to get some like LED strip lights. Sure, the design in here is like clean rainbow room, right? We have the clouds on the ceiling, rainbow archway going in, but then everything else is like, you know, it's all fun and cute, but it's tidy. Okay, I'm gonna go make a rainbow. Love you, buddy. Okay, morning. Oh, I love you too. Oh, ow, you shocked me. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go through things. What's in here? Ooh. What is this? Okay. Curtain finials. You don't know what that is, but you're going to. Ooh, look at this. What is it? We have a little wooden toy kitchen going in here. Look how cute. <gasps> look how cute. Oh my gosh, a little pan. Or is it a hat? Oh my gosh, look how cute. The little mixer, the spatula. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know either. I'm going to come in and help you. Okay, good. We're unwrapping. Okay, let's get some out of boxes. This feels necessary. <laughs> this is a butterfly wand, Tess. Okay, bippity boppity, get all the stuff out of the boxes. Oh, I need to work. with up to 50% off. All right guys, so for the rainbow project, which like most things, we're just sort of creating on the fly. Our goal is to create a little magical portal into their toy closet. That room's actually pretty small. So we're just trying to find different ways to make like fun moments in there. What kid likes a boring old door? No, they want a rainbow portal into their toy closet. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a tall, I'm gonna call it a tall bow, because it's like a tall slender rainbow, and I'm going to cut it out of this half inch maple plywood. I'm gonna basically match the width and the height of the door and just make sure that my arches come in before the door stops. And then I'm gonna actually stand it off of the wall using this lattice. This is just like a piece of plastic lattice that you get at the hardware store. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this along the edges and what's cool about it is it's bendable, right? So I can bend it with the arch of the rainbow.
your first wall, buddy? Are you trying to get dad's boob? Dad's <laughs> boob doesn't have anything in it. <laughs> no, he said, let's start painting. This is his first time seeing a roller. You're busting up the big gun? Well, if you're making me paint because you're holding him, I'm going to bust out the big gun. But then we'll get to see daddy two rolls. Oh my gosh, you're daddy two rolls now. More like Did daddy. Daddy ten rolls. <laughs> daddy, daddy. Baby 12 Daddy rolls. one big roll. Oh, you tired? Are you tired? Yeah, I am tired. Uh oh, okay. Moon, look, this is how we paint a wall. Don't worry. This is no VOC paint. Moon is gonna help us paint, guys. This is Moon's first wall painting experience. Don't worry, we're using no VOC paint plus no VOC colorant. That's important if you really wanna have no VOC paint is to make sure the colorant is also no VOC. So, you know, Moon's not breathing in anything crazy. You wanna do it? Can you hold this roller? Is it a little heavy for you? I think that's a little heavy for yeah, you. Yeah, it's a little big. I'll try. <laughs> oh, oh good, good job, job buddy. <laughs> You got it. You had it. Those are for all of them. Okay, you want to see it go on the wall? Ooh. Whoa. That's fun. Mm, they call me Mama Long Roller. You're going to have to go faster than Excuse this. Excuse me. Mommy One Rolls has her own technique. You want to take over? Here. Yeah, he might need to go take a nap. You want to go take a nap? Yeah, I love you. <laughs> and someone needs to finish these walls fast. Someone needs to finish these walls, and I am the only one with full boobies. <laughs> you doing? Oh. I can't turn him towards me because then he'll want to eat me. All right, you want to see how it gets done? Yeah, he's famous for this. One, two, three. <gasps> get it done, get it done, get it done, man. Wow, look how fast he is. <laughs> Gold. Okay, don't jump into the <laughs> Okay, go, go, do stuff. Okay, let's go get some milk. So, we have so much to do. I'm gonna put Moon down for a nap. Aunt Tess is gonna supervise Moon. I'm gonna help Joey finish painting, and he's gonna run home and get the wallpaper. <sighs> it takes a village, guys. And Joey's brain retuned. So this is kind of a funny thing. I'm leaving the Ace family's house. And because it's such a new house, they were just finally finishing the asphalt on the drive up to it. So I couldn't drive on it, so I had to, I'm, I'm basically taking my car off-roading to get out of here. This is like some crazy fire road. I'm actually kind of excited. I've never had to use, uh, I never gotten to use X mode in my car. So here we go. X mode. I don't even know what it does, but here we go. Excuse me, bird. Hello. Fly away. Fly away. Ah. Oh. Wait, what? Go. I got the wallpaper, guys. We're good to go. All right, so we have our floral print wallpaper that's going on the bedroom wall, and then we have our cloud print wallpaper. I love this wallpaper because the texture, when it's on the ceiling, is gonna make it look like it's like a textured 3D wallpaper, but it's actually just a flat print. We're working on these shelves. We're gonna actually paint these a different shade of pink. And then, obviously, in this room, we're making a ton of progress. This rainbow is gonna be so cool, and obviously the trick with painting it is getting that arc over the top. We're using a ruler and a straight edge for the side areas, because obviously those are straight lines. Oh, 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 okay. We got excited about that. We're using a ruler and a straight edge for the side pieces, because those are straight, but then at the top we're using a compass, like a pencil, basically on a string and a nail to ooh, 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 and then we're just going to freehand paint those arc lines. So we're gonna put this off the wall just a little bit and we have uh, LED lights that's gonna go behind it. So it should be like a back and forth rainbow. All right guys, so up here they had these soffits. I'm not sure why they're here. They're covering something obviously, uh, but it's sort of awkward because like that one's longer than this one. So what we're doing to solve that problem is we're just putting a shelf all the way across. So it's gonna actually kind of make it feel like they're there for a purpose and this is like a built-in shelving unit. And quick and easy solution. You guys wanna see the ceiling wallpaper? Sneak peek, sneak peek, sneak peek. We got a lot to do still. We're gonna be very busy. We gotta get shelving up, we gotta get all the furniture built, we gotta get curtains up in the other room. Okay, see you tomorrow. Art project time! 
time for Elle and Elias bedroom out, Catherine had expressed the idea of having the girls a photo of each of the girls in the bedroom, maybe above the bed, which I think is really cute. We're gonna use some photography that they already have of the girls, which is beautiful and amazing. I mean, the girls are so cute and photogenic. And cut it out and create kind of like a, sort of like a minimalist, like fairy tale vibe with each girl on the same image. And then I'm thinking I'm going to either hand draw butterfly wings onto them or maybe hand paint. I'm not sure yet. And then they have it on like a kind of ivory colored background. So it looks very fairy tale, dreamy like, and that will go over the bed. And I think we're gonna print it on canvas, which will look really cool. Also the reason we're doing canvas instead of like framing it in glass is because they film so much and glass is really hard to film around because it's constantly reflecting things. So a canvas without a piece of glass in front of it is gonna be way better for all of their videos and stuff, which I'm sure they're going to be filming in the girls' room because why not? Okay, so this is how the image looks right now. Obviously very basic. I wanted a lot of like headroom and a lot of just clean white because this is going to be going on the wall where all of the floral wallpaper is. And then the idea with this is I'm gonna draw wings for L and then probably wings for Alea as well. And I thought this pose would be perfect for her to have like a little butterfly landing on her hand. All right, so I've got my pad of paper here, my little case of markers, and I'm going to be looking at the image of the girls as I sketch out some wings. And then I'm gonna scan them in on my phone and try to make that work. Okay, Moon fell asleep and he likes to sleep on me, which I'm very okay with. Look at that baby. Oh. Don't ever want to miss a nap like this because this is what life is made of. But I also have to keep drawing the butterflies, so I'm gonna do it in bed. Okay, so this is like Alea maybe laying down like her wings. I also drew some grass with flowers and just some regular grass. And then this is the little butterfly to land on Alea's hand. All right, guys, we're back at it. Day two, day three, what day is this? I don't even know what day this is, but it's finished day. All right, so we're putting up some decorative pink curtains to just bring in more of this pink rose color. They have a really cool gold curtain rod to just bring in some of that luxe vibes. And these curtains are really decorative because they have electronic roller shades, which are really nice. They don't need the curtains to actually like block out the sun or for privacy. They're really just to bring the walls up higher and to just give them one more element to sort of break out of the boxy feel of the room. We're also changing out the knobs on the bedside table to butterfly knobs because the round silver ones that the bedside tables came with were not okay for this room design. I think this is cute to put a little one here. Yeah, I think the more butterflies, the better, honestly. Honestly, honestly, that's our motto. I'm having so much fun decorating these rooms with Tess. I think it's so special that we are two sisters decorating for two sisters. Wait, this is good for the shelf. These aren't like functional shoes, right? <laughs> are these their shoes? I'm sure those are probably Alea's shoes, but make them a decor moment. <laughs> Does that look weird? Yeah, it looks like you've banished the Don't mermaid. Don't put the, the mermaid, mermaid in the corner. The mermaid in the Nobody puts the mermaid in the corner. Kate, do you know anything about cars? You mean tiny two-foot long ones? <laughs> oh. 
Ay, ay, ay. Oh, I see what I have to do. Well, here. the wheels go on the bottom of the car. <laughs> Oh, we still need to trim this. My baby's up! Hi, my baby! He wears his pants. They, they got poop on them. <laughs> you wake up and poop? Look at this. Look at this. I'm not the choo-choo. Not your style? Okay, well, we're putting it here. Can I trade you baby and for a drill and you can hang those flowers, please? Yeah, I think he needs a schluck. <gasps> you need a little schluck? Let's go give you a snack, baby. Let's go give you a snack. What am I hanging? Those big flowers over there. Tessie will, Tessie will tell you what to do. Tess. <laughs> These big flowers are so gorgeous. They're handmade peonies. All of those petals made out of that crinkle paper. We're bringing those big flower elements that you see in the wallpaper on the opposite side of the room over in a 3D moment on this side of the room. And Joey's just screwing them up on the wall. And it's just like such a fantasy moment. I think we need some butterflies next to these flowers though, right? Yes. Whoa. So going into the toy paradise, we have this plywood rainbow masterpiece, if I may say so. In front of that opening, we set it off the door. Then on the inside of the rainbow, I just ran a strip of LED lights all the way around. So you walk in and there's this rainbow with this glow and inside is the toys. The toy closet, the toy closet. That's a weird thing that we made, cool. What about this pillow? Yeah, cute. That's good. Here? Yeah, the, the rainbow. rainbow. Is that yeah. cute? And then maybe this. Is that in the middle? Yeah, and then this on that. This is so much better, like, to have this shelf here than it just being, like, gaping oh, for open. for sure, for sure. In the playroom, we got new toys. Even though the girls had so many toys before, Catherine wanted to pare down, donate a lot of their old toys, and get some higher quality new stuff. Like, these are cute, too, for the shelves. I don't have my long nails anymore. I'm a mom. Let me do it. Thank you. Oh my gosh, well all this stuff is so cute. I'm obsessed, this room is so fun, but we gotta get it done. I'm gonna rainbow style over there. <laughs> don't point that wooden knife at me. get the Ace family? Yeah, send Tess down here to watch him. Okay, the rooms are done. Uh, Tessie, Tessie, Aunt Tess. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Okay, I'm leading you in, Catherine, we're walking Close. slowly. Okay. Elle, keep your eyes closed. Ooh, it's bright in here, I can see it. Okay, Alea has gotten the nap memo that Moon got. They are both napping. But Elle, three-year-old Elle, is available. She's a little bit shy, because we have more camera guys and stuff around, but she's excited. Okay, on the count, on the count of, three, of three, guys. Picture what your room looked like before. Check out your new bedroom, Elle. One, One two, two, three. three.
Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. The first day you guys were here, yeah. oh my God. I peeked and nothing was done. Oh. <laughs> and then now this is crazy to see. So no, it's even no, better. Funny, no. <laughs> I can't believe you no, peeked. I, I peeked. Oh my God, I haven't even put it down. I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. Look at so this we elf. obviously we wanted the butterfly yeah. theme, right? But like subtly in here, and this what do butterflies so cool. like? They like flowers, and we wanted to make sure your favorite color, pink, right? is all around you in the room. Those are the photos that you already yeah, took yeah, that you yeah, sent yeah, me, yeah, but yeah. I wanted to do some sort of like collage with the butterfly theme, I so love, I drew oh, those. I love those. I'm like trying to take yeah, it in. Yeah, take it in. We changed out those knobs. And then look, Al, over here, we gave you some crystal knobs on this one, because I know your parents love crystals, right? And obviously the wallpaper is like a huge this thing The like wallpaper thing in here. really makes the room. You guys are happy with this? <laughs> yes, beyond happy, thank Yay. you. Yay. All right, let's go look at the flavor. Thank you. All right. Tell us when to stop. All right, I will lead you in. Okay. <laughs> here we go, Catherine, you can go. Yeah, I think this is a good here, spot. Okay. Right here, right here. Yeah, everywhere? so the goal in here, I know, Catherine, your inspiration was like the sort of home edit vibe, like very clean, organized. On the count of three. One, one two, two, three. Oh, what the? <laughs> That's crazy. What? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my God! <laughs> This is your, this, your portal, portal to more your toys. Toys. Your toys. Your portal! Your toy portal! <laughs> this is dope. Oh, this is Yo, amazing. This is crazy. This is who, who, needs, idea. who needs two doors in your room, who right? Who thought of this? You? Wait. Yeah, we thought of it yeah. like one late night when we were stressed out. Yeah, we were like, we need more in there. The we room put, looks we put, that put that shelf, shelf up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah that shelf makes a huge Huge that looks so cool. Oh Obviously, like the goal is to have like an area to play yeah. in the middle. This is the light table. If you guys want to move down. Look at the little chairs. You can do some of your school lessons These in little here. Chairs. Cool new dollhouse. This feels bigger too now. It does. It does. Yeah, I chose more I minimalist thing, stuff like crazy. wooden. Yeah. A wooden dollhouse, like wood and oh, white with this. Oh, little kitchen. But you can paint that dollhouse if you want. You can design it yourself oh. and, you know, paint it. Isn't it cool in here? This is amazing. Yeah. So this is all the sort of like home, you know, like organized yeah, yeah, yeah. by color with supplies and toys. Cool. Which you guys can add as like more rainbow stuff comes in here. But I thought this was a good, this is great storage. How'd you do this? This is crazy. Yeah, that's wallpaper. Cool, right? That's wallpaper. That's a wallpaper. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that's the crazy. texture cool? It oh, looks yeah, like it water, like. Yeah. These chairs are so cool. Yeah. I know, aren't those? I, like I love the colors in here. Like it's not like in your face, like too crazy. Like mm -hmm. that, this is our craziest moment, which I'm also obsessed with. Are you guys happy with the work? Oh, we I love, love it. it. Cool. I love it. Ellie, you like yeah. the two rooms? Do you like it? Yeah. 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 I'm so glad. Me and my sister worked on these rooms a lot together. And I love my sister so much. Our relationship is so special. So it was really special to be able to do this for you Aww. and your sister. For Alea. Yeah, so I oh, hope you love it. What do you think Alea is gonna say? <laughs> what is she gonna say, mama? <laughs> mama. I know this is like your forever home, your yeah. dream home. So we really wanted to create these dream spaces for your two girls, which is such an honor. Cause I know obviously mm -hmm. your two girls are the most important things in the yeah, world to you. Which yeah. now that we have a kid, now we know we the know. feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so we took it really seriously. This no, was like No, I love this. I love important. both rooms. I love everything. Oh, cool. great. Everything. Well, we'll leave you in here. We'll go find our baby. He's napping, but you know. Play some blocks or yeah, something. All yeah, all I gotta say is. Play some go look at all Bye, Elle. Stuff. You guys did look amazing job. Hopefully Elle loves it too when she wakes up. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye, thank you. This is crazy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we did it. I'm so excited. Um, we finished them. Both of those rooms turned out really cool. I think that the 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 pink butterfly palace and the Enchanted garden. Enchanted rainbow cloud room. Yes. They're both so special. I mean, 
They look so good. I think everyone liked them, but obviously most important is that the girls like them because they're the ones that are gonna be spending the most time in there. It turned out amazing yes. and I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked too. Thank you so much Ace Fam for having us over. Catherine and Austin and Elle and Alea, we love you. And if you're from the Ace Family and you're watching this video, welcome. We would love for you to subscribe, binge watch a bunch of our past episodes. We've done this with a bunch of other YouTubers and we also do just non-YouTuber people We have like as well. 30 some episodes of our YouTuber makeover, so. Um, you know, it's in the description below, or there's probably a link somewhere on the screen or yeah. something, but check it out. OMG, we're coming over. We're the creative weirdos. We call ourselves weirdos because that just is synonymous with your uniqueness. I mean, pick up some merch who, if you want. Who isn't weird, right? Your weirdness is what's special about you. So we like to celebrate that and obviously creativity in general. So join our family. We'd love to see you there. We'll see you on Instagram too if you want to follow us. Boop, 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 boop. And if you want to take it a step further, you can join our membership where we have behind the scenes vlogs and other membership perks. And that's it. Okay, Moon, by the way, is here with Rami. Hi, Moon. Good job on the Ace family, buddy. Yeah. I couldn't have done it without you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. We love you. Stay creative, stay weird, stay you because I'm not. Bye. Oh my gosh. Whoa, you guys, it's finally happening. <laughs> Dolan twins. Are you guys excited? I'm beyond excited. The Dolan twins had a good eye when they chose this house. It's a very true vintage home. It's very, oh my gosh, did you ever do ballet? No. Is thunder that thunder? In. Oh my gosh, wait, wait. We gotta get this done and reveal it to them soon. It is thundering in Los Angeles in the middle of the summer. This never happens. One, two, three, four, five. Oh!